Right now, tens of thousands of people, mostly teens, are in New Orleans for a gathering of Lutherans. As Blair Arvin reports, it's the biggest convention since Hurricane Katrina. They rolled in by the masses. Dana! Dana! I'm really excited to start working and get to know people here. Some 37,000 people, mostly teens, in New Orleans for one reason that God was calling us to focus this whole event around service. This is the gathering of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. I feel like this is a great thing for us to do. It's the biggest convention since Hurricane Katrina. Oh, it's crazy. It's awesome, though. Love it. Yeah, I'll play this round. I have no idea how to play. John Antonelli and his son came from North Carolina. It's really special. I uh, get to get some quality time with Tyler. Uh, and actually, all these kids are special. Uh, I've seen these kids grow up. For the next several days, this duo and the thousands of other visitors will help the local economy. Well over 70 hotels that are involved. And the recovery. In some ways you can't put a dollar figure on that kind of work that they'll be doing. What we know is what we've seen on the news. We, we have not experienced it firsthand. We've obviously seen the pictures of uh, Katrina and the post-Katrina recovery and all the efforts, and we want to be a part of that. We have uh, over 200 service projects. Um, the Every congregational group that comes to this event will um, have a three-day rotation. We're trimming hedges and pulling up bushes. We're all going to be able to help try to do something, change something to make it better than what it is now. This is A.J. Laza's first visit to New Orleans. He says he wants to take in as much as he can. I want to get to know like the food around here and things like that, how the people talk, they talk differently. Just get to know the culture. Laza is just the kind of guest the Visitors Bureau says this city needs. The, the visitors will see New Orleans and see all that we have to offer and come back at other times and be lifelong friends and fans of New Orleans. For many here, it's a relationship that's already beginning to take form. Blair Arvin, Fox 8 News. The crowd is spending its nights at the Superdome for events there. The convention wraps up on Sunday. Cloud